Oh, hi there. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Marian. And we're explainers from the New York Hall of Science. Have you seen a hologram before? Maybe in a sci-fi film or in a theme park ride? When I went to Universal a couple years ago, I remember seeing one at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and thought, how does this even work? Well, in my case, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I've always been fascinated by the way that they actually communicate with each other using holograms. And I've always wondered how they actually work. Well, today we're going to find out how. First, Marion will help us establish what a hologram is. And then, I'll show you how to create your own holographic projector. So, what is a hologram? According to our research, a hologram is a three-dimensional image formed by the interference of light beams from a concentrated light source, like a laser. Now, you may think you've seen a hologram before, but the technology needed to create real holograms hasn't actually been perfected yet. What you've likely seen is a light projection that appears to be three-dimensional. In this demo, we're going to be doing something similar, creating a holographic display using the Pepper's Ghost illusion to mimic hologram and create a 3D image. 3D images are projections of pictures that look like they have three dimensions, such as length, width, and height. This allows the image to appear as if it's physically in front of you. Pepper's Ghost is an illusion created by inventor John Henry Pepper, who used the effect in the Victorian era to scare visitors at his demonstrations. To put it simply, it's when someone uses reflective material to reflect an object that is hidden from the observer, and then the object appears to be in front of the viewer, like a ghost. Did you know this effect is actually still used today at theme parks, theaters, haunted houses, and even at concerts to bring late singers to life? Well, now that we have a better understanding of what a 3D image is and how the Pepper's Ghost Illusion works, we'll show you how to make a holographic display of your own. You will need paper, a pencil or pen, clear tape or hot glue, a ruler, clear plastic like stencil sheets, a smartphone or tablet to play your holographs, scissors or a cutting blade if your piece of plastic is too strong, and remember to have adult supervision. Now that we have our materials, let's get started. So first, we will need to create a trapezoid on our paper using a pen or pencil following these measurements. Six centimeters at the bottom, two centimeters at the top, and 4.5 centimeters from the midpoint of the top and bottom. It helps to put dots and corners and use your ruler to connect. You can cut the paper out and use it for tracing purposes on the plastic if you'd like. Using your scissors or cutting blade, cut out four pieces of plastic according to the trapezoid that you drew. Then, connect the four pieces together to create a pyramid and use tape or hot glue to hold the pieces together. Now, use your phone, tablet, computer to look up holographic videos. Place your pyramid on your phone like this and adjust the pyramid accordingly. Turn down or off any lights for an extra added effect. Make sure your phone is on full brightness. I wanted to try a bigger projection, so here's how I did it. I created the trapezoid using the following dimensions. Five centimeters at the top, 14 centimeters at the bottom, and 10 centimeters from the midpoint of the top and the bottom. I drew this trapezoid out four times and used tape to then hold them together. Now let's test it out. Now that we've made our own holographic display, let's quickly talk about how it works. Let's look at our pyramid hologram to see what is happening. The image itself is at the bottom and is being projected from your device to the plastic. Some of the light will bounce off the plastic and towards the viewer, while some of the light will bend through the medium towards the middle of the pyramid. Now this bending of the light occurs four times on all sides, so our aerial virtual image appears to have length, width, and height, giving it that 3D effect. Now that you guys have an understanding of how holographic projectors work, what modification to this experiment do you think you could make to change your projection? Now remember, if you guys go to any theme parks or haunted houses and you see something that looks like a ghost or hologram, don't be fooled. It's just the Pepper's Ghost illusion. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe for more science demos like this.